Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you could join me. I wanted to film a quick video today just talking about uh, two of the books that I, two books that I finished this week and then also the other books that I have read. This week has felt like a really kind of frenetic reading week the past couple weeks. My husband has been out of town. Um, both the baby and the toddler have decided that they don't want to sleep. So on the one hand, sometimes that gives me more reading time because I am up all night long. But on the other hand, I'm really tired and so reading is difficult. But I did manage to finish two books this week and I've kind of dipped my toes into several other books. But besides those books that I, I finished that were already mostly read, uh, it's been hard to get into anything else because my brain is just fried. But let's get going. The first book I finished, I don't have anymore because I had to return it to the library, but that was Nikki Giovanni's A Good Cry. It's a collection of poetry, and I really liked it. I, um, I liked it because I didn't get all of it, and I could tell that there was more to get. And if I'd had more brain power, perhaps, I don't want to say more time because you never have more time, but if I'd had more brain power, I think I would have liked to kind of deep dive into the poems a little bit more to uncover more meaning and I think I would like to do that in the future. It was also really fun to see her or to to read her kind of name drop all of the other influential literary figures that she knows just you know talking about Maya Angelou just as like you know that's just Maya no big deal and it was it was fun to see how the literary community was really a personal community or is really a personal community for her and uh, I, I really enjoyed that. The other book that I finished was Midwinter by Fiona Melrose and this I had started a couple weeks ago at least. I, I mean it, it's taken me a bit to get through this and I've been just mulling it over. I loved it because the prose was beautiful. I loved reading the words and reading about the main character's relationship with the land. So it's about, let me give you a synopsis. <laughs> it's about a father and a son. The, um, the mother of this family was killed um, and was killed while the family had been living in um, in another country to try to uh, make ends meet. Basically, they had to leave their home and go um, farm in another country and um, in Zambia in Africa. So they left England, went to Zambia, the mother was killed, and then the father and son returned to their old home in England. And they're kind of dealing with the aftermath of this event in their life. Um, but I really liked how the story related both their relationship to each other as well as their relationship to the land that they lived on, both the land in at their home and the land in Zambia. Um, and, you know, like land, place, wildlife um, were a lot of the themes. And then it talks about the relationships between these characters and also the, their relationships with other people in their community and the way that those relationships unfolded was very beautiful. That said, it was not an uplifting, happy story. Uh, the things that happened to these two characters were not fun. <laughs> and so reading it was, was hard to read because it, it was very evocative of the feelings that they were felt feeling. So I would definitely recommend it because it's beautiful, but it's just kind of with the caveat that it's not an uplifting book. And I oftentimes really like uplifting books. So now on to what I am currently reading. Um, I've been flitting around between two or three different books on my Kindle slash Kindle app on my iPhone, which is really what I'm reading on. I just can't get into anything. I tried reading Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. I read A Man Called Uwe um, when the baby was first born, and I loved it, and I just cannot get into Bear Town. And I don't know if it's because um, every time I'm about to get into it, they throw in a reference to a child that died, 
and that I, is something that my mom brain right now can't deal with or if it's because there are so many different perspectives in the book that it's I'm having a hard time tracking. I'm not sure, but I'm having a hard time. Um, and then a couple other books that I've tried to read and I'm just haven't settled on one. I'm hoping that once my husband gets home tomorrow, um, it will be much easier for my brain to kind of quiet enough to read. Another book that I started this week and I took the, oh, I, I have it here. I took, I took the dust jackets off my books when I read them. Um, but it's Deep Work by Cal Newport. And this is really interesting. I'm not very far into it, but as someone who um, has worked in tech and my husband currently works in tech, I find it really interesting. It's about um, kind of taking away the distractions of email and constant calendar invites and meetings and really getting into a task and um, using that if I do it this way, you can see, and using that opportunity to really um, go deep into thought and creativity and productivity. Uh, and so I'm having an interesting time comparing that with what I know about, for example, product management or project management in the tech industry. So um, stay tuned because I'm, I'm enjoying this one. I'm not sure I agree with it. I will, I'll keep you posted. Finally, and I'm super excited about this one. My my dad sent me Christmas and birthday presents this week, and I received them this week, and he sent me books, which is fantastic. Uh, he sent me a series of books. This is the first one. It's called Crossroad Blues by Ace Atkins, um, and it's actually signed. The desk jacket is on this one because I was using it for a bookmark because I didn't have another bookmark. Let me show you. It's actually signed by the author, which is super cool so excited about that so my dad is really into blues like blues music and I am really into history I was um, a history PhD student and this these books are about a blues historian which is crazy so I'm like 30 pages in not very far but I'm, I'm enjoying it so far and I can't wait to read the other two so that is everything that I am reading this week. Um, please let me know if you're reading any of these, if you have any thoughts. I'd love to find out in the comments. Please also feel free to like and subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you later. Bye. Have a great day.